We're given a lot of information in this question, but essentially what we're trying to find is the average rate of change in this problem. So remember, when you're trying to calculate the rate of change of a relation, it's the change in y over the change in x. Although in this situation, our variables are a bit different. Uh, y in this case would be p of t, so we're going to be calculating the change in p of t over and then um, our change in x. In this case, um, our variable would be t. So to do this, we're looking for the average rate of change from t being from 4 to 8. So that means in our denominator, we'd be doing 8 minus 4. And in the numerator, it would be p of 8 minus p of 4. So to find p of 8, we take that function and we replace t with 8. So just like that. And then we're going to subtract p of 4. Just like that. And then this whole thing would be divided by 8 minus 4, which is 4. So after very carefully inputting this into your calculator, you should get a rounded answer to the nearest hundredth of 48.78. So that would represent the average rate of change um, of P of T in millions of people per year in that interval. All right, that's all for this video, and thanks for visiting JD's preparation.